What's up everyone, Cheetah here, and today I'm bringing you an achievement slash platinum trophy walkthrough for Love Choice. This game is published by Radalaka Games, and it's developed by Akabaka, and you can pick it up today for a price of $4.99, and it's currently on sale for $3.99, and to get the full completion, we're going to have to see all of the uh, different endings, and it'll take you around 45 minutes following along with this video. So this is a uh, visual novel, and there's three different stories to choose from. And we're going to start with the uh, love game on the left side here. And starting off, you can skip through the uh, dialogue by spamming A like crazy. And instead of making a choice, we're actually going to uh, click on this poster here in the background once the dialogue is over. And that's actually going to unlock our first achievement. And next up, over on the uh, left side, we're going to click on Twitter. And we need to uh, stalk this girl by liking all of her posts. So over on the uh, right side, we're going to heart every single one of these. So go ahead and heart them. And at the end, you're going to get an achievement. You can also scroll down using the uh, right stick. And speaking of Twitter, you can follow me on Twitter at Cheetah's Guides. So uh, once you heart all of them, that should be your achievement. And then uh, we need to wait a few seconds for some dialogue to appear. So once it appears on the uh, left side, you want to choose your bosses, take advantage of you. And then again, we're going to choose the uh, left side. No one wants to upset their boss. And then there's only going to be one choice for this uh, next one, which is going to be in the middle. And it's going to be, would you like to go out with me this weekend? All right, and next up, we're going to choose the uh, choice on the bottom right, which should be Sherlock Homecat Detective. All right, and next up, we're going to have to play a uh, pretty annoying mini game here, but thankfully we get infinite attempts at it. So next up, basically what we have to do here is we have to uh, click on these uh, tickets and avoid the black ones. So there's going to be these tickets that come down from the uh, top of the screen and you only want to click on the like blue, white and yellow ones like that one right there. And we have to do that until we get 11. And you're going to see here in just a little bit, it's going to get a little bit more complicated and they're going to be hidden inside of hats and it's uh, super annoying and it's random every single time. So you can't really copy what I do, but you'll see here for now, they're just going to be falling down from the uh, top of the screen and you just have to click on them. All right, so this is the annoying hat part here. Keep your eye on the uh, colored ticket. It's gonna get covered up by a hat and then the hats are gonna move around and they're gonna be randomized. So basically you just have to keep your eye on the hat that has the uh, colored ticket. It's a little bit tricky because later on there's gonna be more hats. And personally what I found what worked best for me was using my finger to uh, kind of track the hat rather than using my eyes. But uh, hopefully it's not too hard for you. Again, if you do mess up, you will have another attempt to uh, replay it. All right, and if you did it correctly, you should have 11 out of 11, but if not, you can choose to uh, repeat the mini game here on the bottom left side. But if you have all 11 out of 11, you can choose, I think I've had enough and you can quit and that's gonna unlock you a, uh, an achievement. And then from there, you can skip through the uh, dialogue by spamming A and we're gonna choose the uh, option on the top left, which is Sichuan Hot Pot. And then from there, continue skipping through the uh, dialogue And then we're going to click on the uh, little girl's hand here. And then you can skip through the dialogue. All 
Continue skipping through the uh, dialogue here, and instead of making a choice, we're going to click on the uh, cat at the top left, and then click on the uh, cat at the bottom right, and you should get some uh, dialogue. Go ahead and skip through the dialogue, and then once the dialogue is over, you want to click on the headphones under the uh, girl here, and then click on the uh, guitar over on the left side. Again, make sure you skip through the uh, dialogue after clicking on the items, or else it won't work. So skip through the dialogue. And once they're done talking, you want to click on the uh, little game console next to the boy. And then next to the girl, you want to click on this little handheld device here. And then uh, skip through the dialogue. And if you do it correctly, you should be able to uh, pull back on your right stick. And that's going to bring up a uh, little secret screen right here. And we need to uh, click on these clouds. So starting off on the uh, right side, you want to click on this cloud on the right. And then click on the cloud at the top left. And then on the uh, bottom left, you want to click on this cloud here, and then click on the uh, cloud to the left of the girl, once they're done talking. And then uh, from there, you can click on the last two clouds, and you should be good. All right, and in this section here, make sure you don't click on any of the uh, dialogue options. Just wait for a bit and this section will automatically end. Alright, and in this section you want to skip through the uh, dialogue and then you want to select the uh, boy. You want to click on him and drag him over to the uh, right side, to the girl. All right, and in this section, you don't want to make a choice, just uh, skip through the dialogue, and then instead of making a choice, we're going to pick up all of the uh, trash on the ground, so click on the trash, and you should pick it up. All right, and that's actually going to be the end of this uh, playthrough here, and if you did everything correctly, you should get the uh, good ending. You can feel free to uh, skip through all the dialogue if you want to, or if you want, you can read it. It doesn't really matter, but uh, that's going to be the end of the uh, first playthrough, and I believe I'm going to do a uh, quick achievement check here. I was actually spamming A so hard that I accidentally started up a uh, another playthrough, but I'm pretty sure I do a uh, quick achievement check here, and you should be at... 10 achievements and 390 gamer score and next up you can go ahead and start up a uh, another playthrough here and again we're going to choose love game but this time we're going to get the neutral ending so just like last time spam a to uh skip through the dialogue and click on the uh, little poster in the background skip through the uh, dialogue and then we're going to choose the uh, choice at the top left which is going to be your bosses take advantage of you all right and again the choice at the uh, top left no one wants to upset their boss and then again, we only have one choice for this uh, next one, which is going to be, would you like to go out with me this weekend? And then we're going to choose the choice at the uh, top left, which is going to be Steel Man Action. Thank you.
All right, and now we're back at the uh, mini game, but since we already played it, we can choose the uh, bottom right option. Let's use what I found before, and we can actually uh, skip this part, so go ahead and do that. And then uh, here, we can skip through the uh, dialogue, and we're gonna make the same choice as last time, which is the uh, choice at the top left, Sichuan Hot Pot. And again, you wanna skip through the uh, dialogue and then click on their hands. All right, and for this part, you wanna skip through the uh, dialogue and then choose the only option, which is I gotta go. And then again, for this section, just like last time, don't make any choices, just wait. And uh, this section should end on its own. Skip through the uh, dialogue and then click on the boy and drag and drop him next to the girl. All right, and again in this section, instead of making a uh, choice, we're just going to pick up the trash on the ground, and it's going to be the uh, end of this playthrough. Alright, and next up we're going to start up another playthrough of Love Game, and this time we're going to get the uh, bad ending. And apologies, the achievement for finishing last playthrough was delayed in popping, so this playthrough we're not going to click on the uh, poster, we're actually going to choose a uh, choice here. So on the left side we're going to choose, hey, I'm X, can we be friends? And you can ignore that achievement that was just uh, delayed and popping. It was for finishing the last playthrough. So here we're going to choose the uh, option on the left side, which is going to be your bosses take advantage of you. Again, we're going to choose the option on the left side. No one wants to upset their boss. And then choose the only option. Would you like to go out with me this weekend? And then we're going to choose Steel Man Action at the uh, top left. And again, just like last time, we're going to skip through the uh, mini game by choosing the right side option. And then we're going to skip through the uh, dialogue. And just like last time, we're going to choose the top left option, which is going to be Sichuan Hot Pot, whatever. <laughs> All right, and this time, instead of making them uh, hold hands, we're going to choose the top left option, I like you. All right, and this time we're gonna choose I Gotta Go. All right, and this time we're actually gonna choose the uh, insults here. So just keep spamming A and use all of the uh, insults. All 
All right, and this time instead of dragging the uh, boy over, we're actually gonna choose the uh, dialogue options here. So we're gonna choose your bosses, take advantage of you. And then choose the left side. No one wants to upset their boss. All right, so for this part, we're gonna choose I'm so tired, I pretend not to notice on the uh, left side. And that's gonna be the end of this playthrough. All right, and again, we're gonna start up a, uh, another playthrough. This time, we're gonna choose Love Distance, and we're gonna get the Far Memory Achievement. And apologies, again, the uh, previous two achievements were delayed in popping, so apologies. So starting off, skip through the uh, dialogue and then click on the uh, little girl on the left side. And then uh, we're gonna skip through the uh, dialogue and then we're gonna choose What a Weirdo, just watch cartoons and leave her alone. And then skip through the uh, dialogue and again we're going to choose forget it and keep watching cartoons and that's going to be the end of this uh, playthrough. All right, and again, we're gonna start up a uh, another playthrough of Love Distance, and this time we're gonna get the So Far, So Close achievement. All right, so skip through the uh, dialogue, and again, click on the uh, girl on the left side. And then we need to uh, drag the boy over to her. Alright, so this part is a uh, little bit annoying, but immediately you want to start clicking on the uh, piano on the left side and just uh, keep spamming away at it and your character should uh, walk over to it and we have to repeat that a total of three times. So just uh, keep spamming on the uh, piano here for a bit. Alright, and now we have to do that two more times, so after this uh, little cutscene here, we're going to basically redo the same thing, so just keep uh, clicking on the red piano, just like we did before. All right, and now that we got the uh, piano, she's gonna be playing it and we have to uh, click the little musical notes that spawn up here at the uh, top of the screen. So just keep spamming A and clicking on all of these uh, notes here.
All right, and next up, you want to click on this uh, thing here to remove the cover. All right, and now you want to rotate it to the uh, left and then click on this uh, little winding key on the right side. All right, and now you want to take the screwdriver from her hand. All right, and now you want to flip this thing upside down and click on the uh, little black piece here at the bottom. All right, and now you want to click on the uh, piano here in the background. All right, so skip through the uh, dialogue and you can press A to uh, play the piano. And we don't know how to play it just yet, so we need to fail three times in a row. And then she's gonna be like, here, let me play the uh, song for you so we can uh, memorize it. And then there's gonna be like a uh, little white border that's gonna light up around the screen. And basically, when you see the uh, white light around the outer edge of the screen light up, that's when you wanna press A to uh, play the piano. And you have to do that a couple of times throughout the song. And if you do it correctly, that'll be the uh, end of this uh, little section here. It is a little bit annoying, but it's not too hard. All right, and for this section over at the uh, left side here, you need to click on this uh, calendar and then skip through the uh, dialogue. And then once the dialogue is over, you want to click on this uh, little magazine book right here. Skip through the dialogue, and then on the uh, bottom right, you want to click on this little CD case here. And again, over on the uh, left side, you want to click on the calendar, skip through the dialogue, and then click on the cell phone on the bottom left. And then just to the uh, right of that, you want to click on this little motherboard circuit thing here. And then over on the uh, right side, you want to click on the magazines. All right, and here you want to click on the uh, cell phone, skip through the dialogue, and then to the left of that, you want to click on the uh, book. And then over towards the right, you want to click on the uh, little calendar here next to the uh, computer, skip through the dialogue, and then click on the uh, computer, skip through the dialogue, and then click on the uh, radio over on the right side. And then next up, you want to click on the little music notes on the right side. And then just to the right of that, you want to click on the book. All right, and in this next section here, we don't really have to uh, do anything. So just uh, feel free to uh, skip through the dialogue here and just AFK for a bit until it changes to nighttime. All right, and now that it's uh, nighttime here, we can skip through the uh, dialogue and eventually there's gonna be a uh, Ferris wheel in the background that we need to click on. So right about here, go ahead and click on the uh, Ferris wheel. All 
All right, and again, in this section here, you want to click on the uh, Ferris wheel over on the right side. All right, and for this section here, you want to spam through the uh, dialogue, and then we're going to choose go for it. I know that is your dream, and it's going to be the uh, end of the playthrough, and you should get the so far, so close ending. Alright, and if you want to do a quick achievement check, you should be at 15 and 670. Alright, so now we're going to start up a, uh, another playthrough of Love Distance, and this time we're going to get the So Close, So Far achievement. So, for this, we need to start from the Meet Again, Buy Again chapter on the uh, bottom right. All right, and again, we're gonna click on the uh, Ferris wheel, and this time around, we're just gonna uh, keep clicking on their hands and skipping through the dialogue. Alright, so here on the uh, left side, we need to click on the digital clock and the uh, magazine and then the radio. And then over on the right side, we need to click on the music sheet. All right, and again on the uh, left side, we're gonna click on the digital clock, skip through the uh, dialogue, and then click on the radio. And then over on the uh, right side, we need to click on the computer. And then we need to click on the uh, Time Magazine over on the right side. And then here we need to click on the book over on the left side and the uh, radio. And then we need to click on the uh, little music sheet and the computer on the right side. All right, and next up, we need to click on this little slider here in the uh, middle of the screen and drag it over to the uh, right side. And then in the window, you should see the uh, Ferris wheel. We need to uh, click on that. So click on the Ferris wheel and then over on the right side, click on this uh, little calendar thing hanging up here. And then in the uh, bottom middle of this uh, bookshelf, click on the little radio. And then uh, you can drag the uh, little slider over to the left side. And we need to uh, click on the little picture on the left side of the bed. And then click on the uh, little calendar hanging above the bed. And then click on the window. And then on the right side, click on the uh, piano. And then you want to drag the slider back over to the right side. And we need to click on the uh, piano on the right side of the uh, little bookshelf right there. And that's actually gonna be the end of this uh, playthrough.
Alright, and next up we're going to start a, another playthrough. This time we're going to choose Love Detective. Alright, and starting off here, we just need to play this uh, little matching minigame here. It doesn't really matter, just make some uh, random moves. And eventually we're going to get a uh, phone call, so for now I'll just play this uh, little minigame. All right, and now we need to uh, click on the phone here, and uh, we're gonna pretend like we're gonna answer it, but don't actually uh, answer it. And it's gonna go to uh, voicemail, and they're gonna leave us a message. And then from there, it's a little bit weird. Basically, we need to uh, click on the uh, message to try to read it. But for me, I was clicking on the message, I was spamming A a bunch of times, and it wasn't working, so I'm not really sure what that's about. Maybe it's just a timer, but click on the uh, message at the top, and eventually it should let you in. And then uh, now we can skip through the uh, dialogue and we're going to choose the uh, choice on the left side, ask him. All right, and starting off on this area here, we can click on the refrigerator on the right side and then we need to uh, pick up the plate on the bottom left. So pick that up, skip through all of the uh, dialogue and then back out by clicking on the uh, floor. And then uh, to the left of the refrigerator, we need to pick up this little cat poop here in the uh, litter box. And then uh, over on the far back right side, we need to click on these uh, boxes here and that's gonna get us a key. And then from there, over on the uh, left side of the screen, we can click on the door to head into the uh, bedroom. And in here, there's gonna be some uh, clothes on this chair over on the right side that we need to pick up. So click on the uh, clothes right there and pick those up. And then we need to click on the uh, little trash can here on the left side a total of three times. And then we're gonna find a little secret item and I believe get an achievement. And then from there we can head into the uh, room on the left side. And in here we need to uh, swap through the uh, items here using the bumpers and find the clothes and place those in the uh, washer. And then from there, we need to click on the uh, plants here on the left side. And then up on the uh, drying rack, we need to take the uh, clothes. And then from there, we can head back into the uh, little bedroom on the right side. And we can interact with the wardrobe on the uh, left side and place the clothes in there. And that's the achievement finally popping for uh, searching the trash can. For some reason, my achievements were popping delayed, but click on this uh, wardrobe here and place the clothes inside. And that should get you the uh, queen of housework achievement. And then from there, we can back out. And we need to click on the uh, little drawer here to the right of the uh, wardrobe. And we're going to get this little box here. And uh, you can try to unlock it, but it won't work. So we need to uh, back out and head back into the uh, kitchen. So head back out. And there should be a little red arrow down here at the bottom left. Click on that. All right. And here we need to click on this little box on the uh, table. And we have to enter the code on the uh, left side. We're going to enter 584. And then in the uh, middle, we're going to enter 201. And then on the uh, right side, we're going to enter 314. And feel free to uh, pause the video if you need to, to uh, copy that. But the final code is 314. Enter that and it should unlock. And then on the uh, bottom left side of this, this little arrow puzzle here, we need to drag this uh, yellow piece up to the top right. And that should open it up. And then uh, you can click on it and open this little box right here.
All right, and now we're basically gonna do the uh, same thing. So click on the fridge and then click on this uh, note here and then click on the uh, cake and make sure we take the plate. And then from there, you can back out and you can click on the uh, door to the bedroom over on the left side. And then we're gonna click on this uh, little vanity makeup table over on the uh, right side over here to uh, get some lipstick. And then we need to click on the uh, drawer next to the wardrobe over here. And we're gonna open the uh, small box with our key. So click on the lock <clears throat> and open it up. And then click on the uh, note to receive a uh, pin. And then we can back out and we can head into the uh, laundry room over on the left side. And then on the uh, back wall directly in front of us with the uh, little glowing red dot, we need to click on this uh, note over here. And we need to uh, draw a line from the uh, two hearts. So click on a heart and then drag your little crosshair over to the other one and draw a line. And then that's going to open up this little secret here on the left side. And uh, in the middle, you need to click on the uh, necklace to pick it up. And then we can bring that back out to the uh, kitchen. So pick up the necklace and then head back to the uh, kitchen. And again, click on the uh, red line on the bottom of the floor here. Or the red arrow rather. And then again, we're going to click on the uh, box on the table here and open it up by entering the same code, which is 584. And then in the uh, middle, 201. And then on the right side, you're going to enter 314. And then again, we're basically going to do the uh, same thing to open it up. Drag the... Uh, little thing on the bottom left side to the top right and then you can click on it to open it up and we need to make sure we have the uh, necklace on our hotbar and you want to click on the uh, little thing here on the left side to uh, place the necklace and that's going to be the end of this uh, puzzle and the end of this uh, playthrough All right, and here you want to interact with the uh, phone and then press the uh, power button on the right side. All right, and now we just have uh, one more achievement left and it's gonna be super quick. So we're gonna start up a, uh, another playthrough here and we're gonna choose Love Detective and we're gonna choose the uh, day call chapter. And again, we're gonna have to play this uh, little mini game here until the uh, phone rings. All right, and once the uh, phone rings here, you wanna interact with it and pick it up. And we're actually just going to uh, press the uh, power button on the right side, and that's gonna be the uh, end of this playthrough, and that should be your final achievement slash trophy. So that's basically it. I also wanna give a uh, special shout out to the uh, Steam walkthrough. It helped me out a lot with making this guide, but that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like on the video if it was helpful, and please consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time. Also, you should get your final achievement after the uh, credits are over. I went ahead and edited it out just in case there was uh, copyrighted music. But uh, yeah, that's it. See you guys.